Milk a goat. Britta, how are you doing? Hey. Oh, she was going to go up by herself. Up. Britta. Up. Oh boy, gonna get treats. So you're washing her udder to make sure yeah. everything's clean? Yeah. First couple squirts don't go in the container. There might be some bacteria in there. That washes it all out. Oh yeah. Hi. Oh, excuse me. So how much will you get from her uh, roughly, Andrew? Uh, in one day we get about a liter, so it's half a liter morning, half a liter at night. Okay. We're trying to dry her off here, but it's a slow process. And what, what's the, the process, like you say, of drying her off? What, what, what's the uh, outcome of that? Right now, uh, this here is full of milk. And if we milk her all the way to empty, then she's going to produce more milk because there's demand. Okay. So if you don't milk her all the way to empty, you leave two or three cups, or actually more than that in the bottom, then uh, her body knows that she doesn't need to make that much, so she'll slowly right. stop cre creating the milk. But so. if you don't milk her, it's going to be really painful. It's going to be building up pressure and no one's drinking it. But by relieving her, it, uh, it just, uh, it's more gradual. Yeah. Yeah. We only have the one udder on this goat. Why well, it looks kind of different than yeah. normal. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it works pretty well. And what was the breed of these goats, did you say? This is a La Mancha. La Mancha. Yeah, they don't have very big ears. Yeah. And they've been hey. misbudded, so you don't have horns on them. Yeah. And this one here is Britta. Britta. The one utter wonder. Yeah. Hey, Britta. It's a slow process, but yeah. fills up. So the youngest goat you have doesn't try to uh, milk over her? Uh, she, I've seen her a couple times when she just got here. She's a little bit stressed out and wanted the comfort of milk. Mm -hmm. But uh, she's more interested in the hay and forage now. Oh yeah. And the sweet feed that she's eaten up there. The highlight of the day. Yeah. Full of molasses. Mm -hmm. going on over there so right now we're about halfway to the milk that we started with so I could get twice this much oh yeah but then she's gonna produce that much more, more milk again. yeah so yeah. if we leave her about half empty then slowly she won't produce as much next time. right oh cool so how was that Britta hey good and now you're gonna get some more feed aren't you for doing such a good job Ooh, a treat, a treat. She doesn't want that. It, <laughs> and this is our opportunity to rub her all down and oh, clean yeah. her up. Twice a day she gets brushed. 
there's anything that's going wrong, this is a good time to find out. Mm -hmm. We've got a couple different brushes here. This here just gets the uh, thick hay and chunks out. And then this rubber one gets the uh, hair that's fluffing off. Oh yeah. Kind of sticks to it. You see all this stuff yep. falling down. And then the last one here is kind of like a broom brush that uh, once this loosens up some of the hairs, it doesn't get all of them. It mm -hmm. just kind of gets the last little bit out. Right. Do this twice a day and she just keeps staying white. She doesn't turn into a black coat. Here we go. And right about now, you're all done your food and you're going to eat the plastic. Yeah. <laughs> Just chew, eh? So we're gonna open this guy up. Here we go. Down. Good girl. Let's go. Here we go. Cool. Right now and see what they've got. <laughs> got one. Okay, we got one so far. Let's see about under you. Nope, just the one. So typically if I only find that one, um, I just put it in the basket up on the wall and we collect them in the evening. Mm -hmm. But just because we've got two broody hens, oh. I uh, don't leave them under them because <laughs> they'll start incubating them. Oh yeah. So, there's that. I can get them some scratch. I'm going to get them some more fermented feed later today. Mm -hmm. But I can get them some scratch right now and you can see how they run for the scratch. Okay. They're happy chicken sounds. Are you chickens happy? Oh my gosh, you guys are... Uh... Are, they, are they getting you when they do that? A little bit, yeah. Normally the first few they're gentle and then they yeah. just they realize they're black sunflower seeds and they're like oh they're black oil sunflower and they're like oh my gosh and then they just start going as quick as they can and they don't care if they get me. <laughs> Keith, would you like one? You have to be quick, Keith. Oh, he's getting the ones that everyone else is dropping. Okay, ladies. 
next but had their fill. Cue the rooster. Cue the rooster. You can do it. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they didn't want to leave the barn, but now they've seen what they're coming here for. They're like, oh, this is pretty excellent. <laughs> the good stuff, eh? The good stuff. <laughs> stuff in their pasture, except they're like, whoa, a different patch. So we've discussed who's getting who. I think, Dad, you're going to get Buckley. Janet, you are going to get Sweet Pea. Who's the baby? Like to walk. She doesn't. <laughs> but somebody who doesn't like to walk is a lot easier to walk with than somebody who's trying to pull escape. Them, pull okay. and run. So, There's a bee there are multiple me. things to keep in mind. I don't know. You don't know if you're allergic? I don't know. Okay. I was done years ago. I was a kid. Okay, so yes. when you're holding this, what you just did, if he suddenly bolted, it could go like this and Nan. crush your hand right. and you'd break your hand. Nan is crippled because of that. Oh yeah. Um, so you're oh, going to do <laughs> a looping like this. Oh yeah. Right. So I usually hold with one hand and hold with the other hand and that's the easiest way to do it. Right. Okay. So it just makes sure that if he does slip away, you've got the other hand back up. Yeah. Um, if you're trying to actually direct him, you can just kind of pull like this and he'll walk with you pretty well. Okay. But if he doesn't, up in his ears. but if he doesn't, pulling his collar up and yeah. pulling from the base of his uh, skull is how they train them. So yeah. that's what he's used to. Yeah, just like a dog. Yeah. Yeah. Direct so their head. He's gonna be pretty easy for you. Okay.